I'm Matt Nato, executive editor of Plastics Technology Magazine, and I have with me uh, Dave Moyak, general manager of Matrix Tool, and Mark Furman, business development manager of Matrix Tool, and Len Hampton, national sales manager of Sodic Plus Tech. So I want to congratulate the two of you once again for being the first winners of the uh, Hot Shots Molded Parts competition uh, here at, at Molding 2021. And it's amazing, but it, it, you got a twofer here. You won both categories for, for technical excellence and for achievement in economics or efficiency. So um, I guess my question to you is, uh, if you had a chance to look at the other parts that were submitted, what was your view of the competition? Was this a walk in the park for you, or do you think otherwise? <laughs> Oh, it um, definitely wasn't a walk in the park because there was a lot of uh, interesting and unique uh, submissions, and it was nice to see all the ingenuity and technology that the other folks uh, that the other folks submitted. So, yeah, it's uh, it's amazing though to see the breadth of the submissions from big OEMs to smaller, you know, manufacturers such as Matrix, and it just shows you that ingenuity is really something that's not locked into just the large companies. It's, you know, there's some smaller companies doing some amazing things and uh, we're very proud of the accomplishment. Uh, could you talk a little bit about the part that won the competition and what was your greatest challenge in making it? So we wanted to bring a uh, part that we could show, uh, showcase the soda capabilities but also matrix capabilities. And what we wanted to do is um, show uh, intricacies in steel and molding that pushes the envelope in traditional molding. So what better way to do that than to um, come up with a part that's very complex and uh, is difficult to machine from a steel standpoint, but also equally difficult to mold from a molding standpoint. And we utilize the soda capabilities to accomplish that. This is a very high-tech resin here. Yes, it's uh, liquid crystal polymer, it's LCP resin, and it's uh, an engineer grade resin that uh, helped us uh, accomplish what we made. And, and what was the, the biggest challenge in, in making this part? So, um, if you take a look at the part, there's 60 knife edges in steel, and each through, through hole feature on the part is formed by both halves. So that was uh, difficult uh, to make and to mold, and um, we also put a, uh, a nice word puzzle on one of the four cavities. So in a 10 by 10 millimeter space, we added 10, 10 words. And one of the challenges actually that we, that we look back as a group and, and we had a, um, a laugh on was trying to get it legible for folks to read um, from a legibility standpoint. So. How integral was the, the, the machine itself in being able to make this part? Uh, the machine itself, I think, is really uh, part of the partnership that we have. So, and that has allowed us to expand our capabilities. And um, what we do is we allow the machine, we utilize our technology to accomplish things that aren't possible in traditional uh, molding machines. Len, what, what do you think about in terms of the aspect of the machine that made this part, this winning part possible? Yeah, was, we're very surprised we won. It was, it was fantastic. We definitely put a lot of effort in this tool maximized the, what Sodic Machine can offer, and Matrix put that into, uh, into the mold. So there's a, I mean, this tool's got, you gotta think, it's got so many critical features in there, it'd be hard pressed to find that in the, in, the, uh, in the marketplace, actually. So that's what we really kind of focused on. Use the acceleration capabilities of the machine, the exact dosing capabilities of the machine, and the expertise in tooling, and it was a win-win. So we're, we're very, very happy. Well, thank you very much again, and do oh, you want to add? Oh, I do. I was just going to say, to Len's point, what we wanted to bring to the table was a challenging part that had a lot of intricate features, and then that way that shows what's capable when you, um, when you, when you design and build a good tool, and then you marry it with an equally capable press. Do so. you see any opportunities developing from, from making this part, which was clearly designed for a trade show rather than actual? Yes, we do, we, and that was one of the intents of uh, building and designing the tool and bringing it to trade shows is to show capabilities from a, from a mold making, molding standpoint, and then machinery standpoint. So what we wanted to showcase for prospective customers is what's, what's capable in plastic and steel, and if you have a product line that falls within that umbrella, then we would be obviously a good fit from a, uh, from a partnership from a mold build molding standpoint to a machine OEM. Great, thank you again.